Hello, Auggies Worldwide. I'm Dave Kessler, amateur radio call sign KE0OG, here with another episode of Ask Dave. Now, normally most of my videos are kind of, you know, technical information, but I'm going to take a stab at something here that seems to generate a little bit of discussion in the ham radio community, and that is about the word ham. I received an inquiry from Steve Feltner, KE5SF, who asked this question. Where did the term ham radio come from? I met an older ham a few weeks ago and he told me. I was surprised. Now, I'm going to read the answer because I originally wrote this for QSD, but they thought it was too controversial. But I don't think it's too controversial for you. It says, I think Wikipedia has the best definition. And see the article in Wikipedia called Etymology of Ham Radio. This is my text, not Wikipedia's. During the heyday of landline telegraphy, including railroad telegraphy, poor operators earned several derogatory monikers, including plug, ham-fisted, and lid. When radio first came along, the early spark gap transmitters had very broad bandwidth, so every station competed with others for what little spectrum was available in those days. The commercial operators, frustrated with amateurs interfering with their stations, continued calling them hams. As damped wave spark transmitters gave way to vacuum tube-based continuous wave transmitters, the spectrum problems were sorted but the name for amateurs stuck. The pejorative term is still found in terms such as ham actor or hamming it up. The classical meaning of amateur is someone who is skilled at something but is not paid for it. The term is particularly prominent in sports and is part and parcel of the Olympic heritage, which is after all for amateur athletes. Someone who is particularly skilled can go pro, in other words, be paid and cease to be an amateur. The early amateur radio books and magazine articles avoided the use of the term ham completely, but it crept into regular use. Now we hams wear the widely recognized name with pride. In fact, the largest ham radio gathering in the world calls itself Hamvention. There are several debunked stories about the origin of the term. It is not an acronym. Old Ham's tales about coming from a certain trio of people or a trio of radio pioneers have been shown to have no basis in history. The Wikipedia article provides additional debunked examples. So H-A-M, lowercase, not cap H, cap A, cam N. So there you have it. Thought you might enjoy that. If you'd like to support this channel, please subscribe and join. Until we next meet, 73.